Hello friends, it's me Nidhu. Welcome to my channel Healthy Hand for Nurses. In this video, I am dealing with the topic Nursing Research and Statistics Part 5 which includes some of the questions from the topic. In this video, I have not given detailed explanation of each question because already I have given in the previous videos. So please watch those videos and then come to this one. Also, I will provide you with the link at the end of the video. So please watch the video till the end. And if you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe it and also click the bell icon so that you will get notifications in future. So let us start the video. First question. All of the following diagrams can be drawn from quantitative data except options A frequency curve, B scatter diagram, C flow diagram, D histogram. Answer is C flow diagram. The rest of the options frequency curve, scatter diagram, histogram are used to present quantitative data. The detailed explanations regarding this graphic presentations are included in the previous videos. Next question. Best graph for demonstration of relationship between ages and weight is options A bar diagram, B histogram, C scatter, D pi diagram. Answer is A bar diagram. Next question. Quantitative data can be best represented by options A pie chart, B pictogram, C histogram, D bar diagram. Answer is C histogram. So the quantitative data can be best presented by histogram. The rest of the options that is pie chart, pictogram, and bar diagram are used to represent qualitative data. Next question. Percentage of data can be shown in options A graph presentation, B pie chart, C bar diagram, D histogram. Answer is C bar diagram. Percentage of data can be shown in bar diagram. Next question. The two important values necessary for describing Frequency distribution of a series of observation. Options A. Mean and standard deviation. B. Mean and range. C. Median and range. D. Median and standard deviation. Answer is A. Mean and standard deviation. So the two important values necessary for describing frequency distribution of a series of observation is mean and standard deviation. Next question. Relationship between two variables can be presented by options A pi diagram, B scatter diagram, C bar diagram, D histogram. Answer is B scatter diagram. So the relationship between two variables can be presented by scatter diagram. Next question. Age and sex representation is best, repre sorry, best presented by options A histogram, B pie chart, C bar diagram, D scatter diagram. Answer is A histogram. Age and sex representation is best presented by histogram. Next question. The term which refers to the extent to which the results of the study can be generalized to the larger population. Options A internal validity, B predictive validity, C external validity, D content validity. Answer is C external validity. So the term which refers to the extent to which the results of the study can be generalized to a larger population is called external validity. Next question. The term which refers to the validity of a research in which the difference in the dependent variable is actually a result of the independent variable. Options. A. Construct validity, B. Content validity, C. Internal validity, D. External validity. Answer is C. Internal validity. So the term which refers to the validity of a research in which the difference in the dependent variable is actually a result of the independent variable is the internal validity. Next question. Type 2 error is also known as options A. False positive, B. False negative, C double negative, D positive negative. Answer is B false negative. 
type 2 error is also known as false negative and type 1 error is also known as false positive. Next question, which of the following is not a type of reliability? Options A split half, B content, C internal consistency, D test retest. Answer is B content. Content, uh, it is a uh, type of validity that is content validity and the rest of the options that is split half, it is a type of reliability that is split half reliability, internal consistency is a characteristic of reliability, test retest method is also a uh, is, is also a method uh, used to assess the characteristic of reliability that is a stability. Next question, another name for bar graph. Options A polygon, B histogram, C normal curve, D line graph. Answer is B histogram. So another name for bar graph is histogram. Next question. Gender, age, religion, type of disease and blood group are measured on. Options A. Nominal scale of measurement. B. Ordinal scale of measurement. C. Interval scale of measurement. D. Ratio scale of measurement. Answer is A. Nominal scale of measurement. Next question. The median value is the options A. 25th percentile. B 15th percentile, C 75th percentile, D 95th percentile. Answer is B 15th percentile. Next question. The square of standard deviation is options A median, B standard error, C Z score, D variance. Answer is D variance. So the square of standard deviation is variance. Next question. The Spearman's Brown formula is used to estimate options A. Test retest reliability, B. Internal consistency, C. Equivalence, D. Validity. Answer is B. Internal consistency. So, so, so the Spearman's Brown formula is used to estimate internal consistency. Next question. Quality research design involves options A. Emergent design, B. Correlative design, C. Experimental design, D. Cohort design. Answer is A. Emergent design. So, qualitative research design involves emergent design. That is a design is evolved during the course of study. So, friends, these are some of the questions from the topic nursing research and statistics. If you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe it and also click the bell icon so that you will get notifications if I am uploading new videos. Thank you for watching the channel.